Hi Scorpio and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for all your support so far. Um, if you're new here, welcome as well. Um, and I, re I really appreciate return subscribers. So this is the August video for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm using this new mystical tarot deck which was a gift from Trevor thank you very much for that if you'd like to gift me a deck check my Amazon wish list below I'm getting some of you needing to be quite strong at the moment maybe moving on from a situation something yeah moving on to something more meaningful maybe there was some imbalance in a situation, might have been a life lesson that you have gone through. Transformation. Okay, so I'm going to do um, a Celtic cross spread today. So the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands, yeah, new beginning is in your subconscious, wanting to move on. Some of you might want to move on from your home situation or move. Start a new project, new business, you're quite creative at the moment. Your current energy, the Five of Wands, you're quite conflicted within. You might have some conflict drama around you as well that you're trying to get away from. Um, yeah, a little bit cha chaotic. And the challenge is this tower moment that's happening. Things are crumbling around you. Um, there might be some peop someone you cut out of your life. Some people you cut out of your life. So you've got a lot of people in this card. If it's a relationship, it was something that was built on unstable ground. Um, in your conscious, the Nine of Wands, you're needing to be strong. You've been through quite a lot. Wounded warrior here, but very strong. Yeah, on your own. And in your subconscious, we've got here the lovers, so a decision you need to make. Also a connection with someone, could be a twin flame, Gemini, potentially. This person's on your mind, yeah, and it's, it's like it's not been the right time, but they're still there on your mind. So, in the past position we've got the Queen of Wands, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius potentially, someone very, very much in control, knew what they wanted, might have been a person, might have been you, that decided you knew what you wanted and then this change comes in your life with this tower, quite a big change coming I feel. And the near future, the Five of Cups, might be some regret, thinking about the past, reminiscing, and not looking at the Two Cups remaining. In your current attitude, we've got the Ace of Swords. So, two Aces, definitely looking at a new beginning. Clarity, um, truth, communication. Around you, the King of Cups, um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this could be another energy, someone quite emotional, loving. Maybe you're with them or you've got your, your eye on them. 
hopes and fears. Um, this is around finances, I feel. So really assessing your financial situation, how you can move forward. Some of you want to move, and you're just looking at how you can do that, and what you know, what your finances, your financial situation is. Also thinking about someone, and your um, potential outcome, the six of cups. So we've got a soulmate from the past here, um, coming in. I feel, you know, with these two, strong to inflame. So this person on your mind comes in here in the future. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Someone you might know from childhood, or it could be a past life, okay? So let's clarify, first of all, the five of swords, uh, sorry, five of wands. So with the Five of Wands, we've got the Three of Wands, so waiting for a change, being patient, um, making plans. You're conflicted about making these plans though. Something holding you back. With the Tower, okay, the Tower always brings change, so don't see it as negative. And we do have a positive change here with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, energies. So this is meant to happen for you. Okay. Can speak of a second chance. Wanting a second chance. So in your conscious, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I feel this is you being strong and focusing on your stability. Okay. So with the the lovers, we got six of wands, the hermit. Yeah, could be could definitely be around a marriage. We've got Virgo energy. Um, good news as well, victory. This, yeah, this person you want, you want some connection, you want commitment with this person. Okay, just that one. Okay, Queen of Wands. We've also got the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. And we had the King of Pentacles in your conscious, so it could be two energies here on your past. I'm feeling Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. And this was what you had to make a decision over for some of you. Two very strong people. Okay, the Five of Cups and the High Priestess. So we've got Pisces energy. Certainly listen to your intuition. Okay, you might stop talking to this person as well. Um, one of these people who you're, I feel you're moving on from. Oops. Okay, we've got a lot of cards here, but they're telling me to take it for the Ace of Swords. Yeah, definitely some deception with these two. Heartbreak. Something came to light. Yeah, clarity. Conflict. So this is a repeat card. Five of Wands. 
and really needing to heal yeah from this situation so this might be to come so the king of cups we've got the eight of wands so communication potentially with this person around you I'm getting it someone new Okay, Seven of Pentacles, we got the Judgment, so, um, yeah, an Awakening. Um, also, maybe, yeah, you're hoping for reconciliation. Thinking about someone, definitely. And now this Six of Cups. So we've got quite a lot of cards here. Um, yeah, so you're going to feel stuck in the situation you've been in. But you're going to walk away from someone or someone's going to walk away from you. Something unfulfilling. And then love comes in. Divine love. With this person. Could be a new home for some of you. Yeah, definitely an ending of a situation with someone I'm really getting. Could be also, you know, behaviours. Yeah, and there's that Queen of Wands again from your past. Came out here. So an ending with this person, I feel. Okay, and then someone new comes in. Yeah, and there's the tower. So there's definitely a tower moment you're going to have with this Queen of Wands change cutting this person out I feel okay so I hope this has resonated um, let's just take a, an oracle card to finish yeah now that really resonates 18 1 and 8 equaling a 9 wish fulfillment and it's new experiences and possibilities so you're definitely going to move on to something new. Um, we've got the horse here for strengths. And she's dressed in green to so the heart chakra. Definitely needing to heal that heart chakra after this situation. Okay, So Google on YouTube, here on YouTube for videos for that. Okay, But look at all this abundance you've got in your future, Leo, um, Scorpio, sorry. Now I said Leo, um, that might be, that's, a, that's definitely a message coming through from Spirit. This person might be a Leo. Okay, if it resonates, please let me know um, in the comments, okay? So I hope this has resonated with you, Scorpio. Um, please do like, comment, share and subscribe um, so I can keep this channel going. Thank you again for your support um, and I'll see you again soon.